Hi everyone, Rainy Bastarash here, and it's a beautiful December morning. It's actually Friday morning, so the weekend is coming, woohoo! And I wanted to speak to you today about how to attract abundance with emotion. Ah, you ever thought of that? How do you attract abundance with emotion? Well, you know, emotion is very strong in any kind of attracting. Uh, and, uh, you know, no matter what it is, because emotion supercharges imagination. And of course, when you're trying to attract something to you, whether it be hypnosis, whether it be through using affirmations, what you need to do is you need to be able to imagine what it is you want. You need to be able to focus on it because the subconscious mind, first of all, doesn't understand the difference between a real and an imagined memory. They hold the same value. So if you can imagine what it is you want and keep your focus, another trait of the subconscious mind is whatever you focus on, it will always attract to you, okay? So you can call that the law of attraction. You can call it, you know, whatever you like, but it's almost like you have a young genie in your mind. Whatever it is you focus on, it attracts, it attracts. But the problem is a lot of times we focus on negative things. So anyways, by having emotion, you're taking that imagination and you're putting almost like nitrous oxide into the into the gas tank, making it faster. So emotion always makes everything work faster. It makes it more powerful. It's the, I guess, the highest frequency of most, uh, of but all thought. And one of the highest frequencies, one of the highest emotional frequencies, <laughs> Or I guess you could say one of the highest frequencies in emotion is gratitude. That's the highest one. So, what are you grateful for? When you're becoming grateful, when you're grateful for whatever it is you have, uh, people around you, whatever it might be, whatever you're grateful for, you're attracting more of that to you. So, here's a little exercise for you. Think right now, what are you grateful for? And even who are you grateful for, okay? So, uh, Raluca's not here, but she'll be watching the video. So, I am grateful for my partner, Raluca. She helps me so much. I'm not only saying that because, you know, she's going to see the video. <laughs> she's actually shopping right now, doing the hard work while I'm sitting out in this parking lot waiting, taking advantage of the time to speak to you about gratitude. So, I'm grateful for Raluca being my partner, being patient with me, being... Uh, so helpful and everything and, and working with me with hypnosis for all these years. I'm grateful for my business. If it wasn't for the American School of Hypnosis, I wouldn't have had such a great life over the last 20, 25 years. I got to figure out the year and do the math. Okay, so it's been about 25 years now we've been doing this. It's been great being self-employed and being able to take the time to do what I want to do whenever I want to do as much as I want to do. That to me is true self-employment. I'm thankful for my extended family, my <clears throat> six children and grandchildren, uh, two new ones I had this year. Uh, they bring me such joy to be able to, especially, you know, newborn infants, you know, just be able to spend time with them brings me so much joy. I'm very grateful for that. So when you're talking about gratitude, you're attracting more of what you're grateful for. I don't know if that means I'm going to be attracting more grandchildren, but <laughs> more happiness, more things that bring you joy. Uh, I'm grateful for, oh, just so many things for Betsy. What's Betsy? This beautiful car that I have, okay? Betsy is a Honda Pilot. We've had her for quite a while. And uh, we're very appreciative for Betsy, for taking us places, for being reliable, for being a little chilly right now. So I turned off the heater. It's uh, like 21 degrees out, and I had to turn off the car to be able to do this video. But Betsy will warm me up as soon as I get off of it, okay? And even you can even be thankful for the people in power around you, whether it be if you're at school, your teachers, your politicians, the law enforcement, whether you agree with their policies or not or whatever, they're basically organizing your life. They're helping things around you, helping the machine to roll so you can continue to have things to be grateful for. So people are in place to be able to help your life. By being grateful for them, okay, you're going to get more great people to be able to do these things. 
And if they're not the ones you like, by being grateful for them, you'll begin to attract the ones you like. Yeah, think of that, okay? So what kind of things are you grateful for? Who are you grateful for? I'm grateful for my health. Very important. Being grateful for your health so you can continue to have health. Now, you know, I mentioned before, you always attract what you focus on, whether it be positive or negative. Some people, when you ask them what they want in life, they say, I don't want this, I don't want that. And when they say, I don't want, they're attracting what they don't want. So if you say, I, uh, I, I don't want to have a bad business, they're attracting a bad business. You have to watch what you focus on. I want, I'm, I'm thankful for prosperity. I want prosperity. I want a great business. Now you're attracting it. <clears throat> so... And that's one of the problems is people, they'll start to get something and they'll go off track and they'll start to get it and they'll go off track because they're focusing on what I want, what I don't want. But it doesn't work like that with gratitude. When you're grateful for something, okay, you're focusing on the positive of it, the positive of it. Okay, you can't say, let's say, I'm grateful for my warm house. Now you're attracting more, whether it be real estate or comfort or whatever it is. I'm grateful for my home and everything I have there. But there's no negative when you're saying I'm grateful. You're not think, saying, you know, I'm grateful and you're not grateful for being broke. You're not grateful for not being able to pay your rent. You're grateful for what you have. So when you focus on gratitude, you are supercharging everything and bringing what you want. And you have that, your crosshairs on your target and it's not going all over the place. So spend as much of your day as you can on being grateful. The more time you can spend on being grateful, the more positive that's going to come into your life. The more abundance. If you just focus on, I want this, I want that, I want this, you're going to start thinking, well, I'm undeserving, or I can't afford it, or why should I get that? But if you say, I am thankful for this, I am grateful for this, there's none of that doubt. There's none of that unworthiness. Because you are grateful. By being grateful to the universe it will respond to you in kind and give you more of what you're grateful for. Isn't that wonderful? So that's today's message. Be grateful as much as you can throughout the day. Always think about what you're grateful for. Make a gratitude list, the top five things you're grateful for. And just think about them whenever you start thinking negatively throughout your day. And you're going to attract more of that to you. So... With that said, that's my message for today, and I want to let you know that this is the beginning of December, and on the 4th, we already started our Christmas sales. So from the 4th to, well, 10 days, I think that's the 11th, anyways, for 10 days, I don't have the dates in front of me, I'm on the road, we have our Christmas uh, sales going on. I'm not going to tell you what they are, so you have to go to the webpage and the link below here, take a look at my Christmas decorations. Every year I put Christmas decorations up on my webpages, the blinking lights and everything, I love my Christmas decorations, so as soon as the holidays come around, I put them up, and I got lights and little animations, so go to the link below this video at the store see what we have for Christmas sales. It's the best time of the year to learn more about hypnosis, to be certified, to start your own business, and to help other people. I'm grateful for my holiday sales, and you will be too. Thanks for watching. Have a safe and happy holiday season from Raluca and I. Bye-bye now.